It's time to get swifty, Rick and Morty fans. This is the best cartoon in the world, and I don't actually expect to do every single episode the justice it deserves in the time we have today. But let's go on an interdimensional adventure together, okay? I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and today we're counting down the dirtiest sex jokes from Rick and Morty. Wubba lubba dub dub! Number nine, Rick's favorite catchphrase. In season two, Rick gives us a recap of all of his favorite catchphrases, most of which none of us have ever heard before. Burger time! Rubber baby baby bunkers! Lick, lick, lick my balls! <laughs> yeah! Say that all the time! Don't you just love it when your grandpa tells you to lick, lick, lick his balls? Number eight, Jacob comes to dinner. When Jerry's mom and dad come to visit for Christmas, they bring their special friend Jacob to dinner as well. Jerry's a little confused about who Jacob is and why he's hanging out with his parents so much. But when he asks them, their answer isn't exactly what he expected. <laughs> Sounds like you're about to say Jacob is your lover. No, 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 no. Jacob is your mother's lover. <laughs> I watch them, sometimes from a chair and sometimes from a closet, almost always dressed as Superman. Honestly, Jerry should take notes. Trying new things in bed is very rewarding and clearly the key to a long-lasting marriage. Number seven, Rickception. When Rick and Morty decide to incept Morty's math teacher, Mr. Goldenfold, so that he'll give him straight A's in math, they accidentally end up going a dream within a dream too deep and find themselves inside Mrs. Pancake's weird sex dungeon. Unfortunately, Morty ends up coming face to face with pretty much the grossest thing ever. Summer! Hey there, stranger. What do you think of these things? Oh, oh, gross, gross! It's bad enough that Morty had to sit through that incestuous shit show, but then this happens. Come on, old man, little boy. Let's make an intergenerational sandwich. Oh my, oh my god, 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 the clothes on, for the love of god. Number six, turbulent juice. In this fucked up commercial, muscular men use sex to sell turbulent juice. In a world where muscular mannies are coming and they're coming strong, there's only three unmuscular Michaels. Get down, hurry, run. And that's when real turbulent juice is coming and you gotta take care of it with turbulent juice, turbulent. I don't know whether to worship at the base of that giant purple jizz volcano or scrape my corneas off with a rough sponge. Number five, Tammy's into some pretty hardcore shit. When Rick and Summer throw a joint house party with all of their friends, things get a little weird. It's the, it's the, it's the Rick dance. But before the Rick dance even takes place, Summer's friend Tammy says this. I love watching Bukaki. I mean, like, uh -huh. I don't know if I personally would ever do it. You know, Tammy, in bird culture, the act of Bukaki is considered a dick move. Number four, Rick and Morty go to giant jail. In this episode, Rick is concerned about what's gonna happen to them once they're sentenced to giant jail. Great adventure, buddy. Rick and Morty go to giant prison. You know, if somebody drops the soap, it's gonna land on our heads and crush our spines, Morty. You know, it, it'll be really easy to rape us after that. While most shows kinda leave it up to the imagination by saying, don't drop the soap, Rick and Morty spells it out for you more clearly than that one Sublime song. Number three, Mr. Jellybean sexually assaults Morty. Call Detective Benson because Morty has suffered an especially heinous sexually based offense. Stop! You're making me really uncomfortable. Stop fighting me! Just let this happen. Get off of me! If that wasn't horrible enough for you, Mr. Jellybean says this to him too. Stop being such a tease, you sweet little. Thankfully, Rick shoots the son of a bitch before they portal gun their way back to their previous dimension. Number two, Morty's sex robot. My grandparents usually got me ceramic figurines and sweaters for presents, but Rick bought Morty a sex robot at a pawn shop, so I guess my therapist is right when she tells me that things could have been worse. Oh, it looks cool, huh? That's why you want it? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's different from the stuff on Earth. And, and, and you know, you, you take me to all these crazy places across the galaxy, and, you know, I don't really have anything to, to remember all those trips by. It'd be kind of cool, like a souvenir. Okay, uh, 60 uh, for the resonator, and my grandson wants the sex robot. Morty ends up getting his sex robot pregnant, which is a whole other level of fucked up. Number one, the plumbus. Everyone's household has a plumbus, so there's no need to explain what it does, because you already know. For six and a half brappies, you too can own your very own plumbus. Just don't forget to rub the fleeb, because the fleeb has all the fleeb juice. They take the dinglebop and they push it through the grumbo, where the fleeb is rubbed against it. Wait, how is this number one? The plumbus isn't sexual in nature at all. What's with these lists always stretching out the definition of dirty? Seriously, if you see a wholesome schlammy rubbing and spitting on a plumbus and think that's dirty, maybe there's something wrong with you. 
while we're all screaming at Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon to bring us the next season of Rick and Morty, leave a comment below and let me know which dirty jokes we missed. For more dirty cartoon content, like and subscribe. I'm here every Saturday morning to ruin your childhood.